I'm so tired of fog. Previously on the Lazy Geckos. Hey, lady. I think it's turned into a storm. Hurricane is like going back and forth, back and forth. Yep. We had another big storm on the way. Oh, geez. Sarah said she was good at this knot. Little knot. You work on that. We prep Calypso. I'm heading to Walmart. You are going. Good luck. And Tara braved the weather to get some needed supplies. You made it. Now we're back at it, ready for the storm to hit. Don't film me, I'm not gonna use this. Are you having your own little hurricane party? Yes, I am. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Okay. What's what's the Why deal? Why did you come in here blasting your lights? Because we prep for a hurricane, there's a, and it's turned into a tropical storm. And I see you're having your own little party with your glass of scotch. Yeah. Nice. What do you think of the tropical storm so far? It's just about to start hitting. Oh, dang. And people were posting that a little bit more south that it was more than they expected it to be. So, and there's a big surge pushing in right now, you can see it. But I feel pretty good right behind some mega yachts and stuff. I feel we're pretty protected, so. And scotch makes everything better. Yeah, give yourself a glass of scotch, come lay down. I had some tea. Oh, okay. I'll brush my teeth and come lay down now. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Did you feel that storm last night? No, I didn't feel a thing. Me either! Apparently they say the wind's got to like 80 knots. Yeah. Your lens is dirty. Come on over here. Yeah, they say the uh, wind's got up to like 80 knots. We didn't feel it. I mean, we're pretty protected right here. We have mega yacht right behind us that, and a house or a building right in front of us. So that's cool. I would worry if it got to 80 knots, then the solar panels would fly off. But I think we were pretty protected. So now I'm running the engines. I think we, right now we're in Buford, North Carolina, and I think we have a weather window tomorrow. Beaufort. To, sorry, it's Beaufort. Beaufort, North Carolina. I think we have a weather window tomorrow to jump straight from here to Charleston. It should take like 29, 30 hours, something like that. Um, maybe 33, so it depends on how fast we go. So what I'm just running the engines, charging the engine batteries, and um, running the radar, I've done that, but, and all that kind of stuff. And just making sure everything's good for tomorrow. Securing the dinghy, we always like really secure it up. Um, some people, we know people that have lost, like their dinghy hoist is broken at sea. Um, so I always secure it up so if that were to happen, it has a backup. And just stuff like that. You good for an offshore overnight? I am. Have you looked at the predict wind and everything? Yeah. The predict wind says it should be like less than two meter waves, so less than six feet, and uh, the whole time and between like eight and 20 knots the whole time. So that's, that's good. And then uh, I, don't, I don't know if we're gonna get a lot of sailing down, but I think the sailing is more towards the end of it. I'm kind of looking forward to it. How about you? Um, yeah, as long as the weather's right. Like, yeah. Well, the grocery should be here in about 20 minutes. Okay, great. And then after that, uh, after I run the engine stuff, I'm just gonna check the oil. I went through all the engine hours and everything as far as maintenance. Check the oil and then um, pretty good, man. I think we're pretty set. To get, the, to get the groceries in. I went and got some propane today. We run a little bit low and should be good to go. We pulled off the dock and staged Calypso just inside the Beaufort Inlet, ready for an early morning departure. Get an early start today? Yes. 5 a.m. wake up call. It's probably like 5.40 now. We're gonna leave at 6 a.m. We just tracked our options on Windy to figure
figure out what was the best option for us. It looks like the first half will motor sail because we need to make at least 6.7 knots. And then the second half looks really good for sailing. So I think, or we think, we're going to go faster than we realize. It's really good sailing wind. So make our way out of Beaufort, North Carolina, and then we'll be aiming for Charleston, South Carolina. We should arrive tomorrow by noon at the latest, hopefully way before that if we go faster. So we're just waiting on sunlight because we want to get out of here as soon as we can. But to get out of here, there's a lot of like, it's kind of tight, it's a little congested, so daylight would be better. Just waiting. Jeremiah's over there tracking our route. Actually, I'm not. I'm just standing here. <laughs> oh, fully was. We'll probably be sailing in like 20 knots, so you'll get some good sporty sailing in here, Tara. Sounds good. Yeah. So it should be good. We're, it won't start out like that. It should start off kind of calm. Uh, but the sea should be like three to four. Uh, the cool thing is they should be following. So, but um, it'll be good. I'm just trying to get some light so we can get out of here. There's a bunch of people going. We don't really know anybody, like we've met one of them for a couple seconds when you guys gave them those books and they were dinging up. So you can sit down, it's okay, just relax. No, but you said to call them on the radio. The radio's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you already filming now this Now remember, too? now when you do this, you're you're broadcasting everybody. The Coast Guard's recording you, everything. So she's like turning around with the script, little crumb snatchers. <laughs> the crumb snatchers. She's got her anchor. Gaia, Gaia, Gaia. Calypso on 1-6. Don't call them when they get over here. Mm -hmm. So they did come from that boat, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gaia, Gaia, Gaia. Calypso 1-6. After a few failed radio calls, we decided to go old school with it. She's just waving. <laughs> She's like, what's this crazy blonde like, one? What is she doing? <laughs> okay, here's the turning. Okay. Hi. Hi. We had this idea where like after we read a book, we label it and we give it to other sailing kids. What Nana T's working on is labels right there. That's Reese's actual signature and Nana T's signature. And they're gonna put the labels and the books that you read, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and then we're gonna pass them on to other kids on, on boats. <laughs> and then you can just, you could write your names in there too and then pass it on to other sailing kids. So. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you guys here for a little while? Or? Uh, we're taking off in the morning. We're heading to Charleston. Stay with us. That was cool. Hopefully it'll start a new tradition in the boating community. Now they have it and they're gonna read it and then hopefully they'll pass it to another kid, right? How cool is that, Tara? Your idea like came to fruition. Yay, now we just have to keep doing it I and know. get other people to do it. And perfect, like there's kids there that yeah. are gonna go and home and the read right them. age too. Yeah. They'll love them. Yes. I wish we had toys. <laughs> cool. Should we give them some toys? <laughs> no, no. It's funny that last night we were doing the, uh, we were just hanging out, we saw the thingy next door. Tara saw the kids and we waved them over and they came over and got the books. Well, last night I was laying in bed and somebody tagged us in a post and said, like, you know, a video of dinging with their kids and said, dinging and looking for horses with the kids while the kids read their new books from Lazy Gecko Sailing. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, they must have already known who we are because we didn't tell them we were Lazy Gecko Sailing. No, it doesn't say it on the thing either, it just says no. SV Calypso, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's so, funny. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, me neither. We have at least three boat, four boats all together so that we know of. There's a bunch of boats in the anchorage, so I imagine we're a lot more than that. But we have a trawler. He goes about eight knots. We have a catamaran that's on a delivery. And he's a former, actually a retired Marine. He just retired. Um, he's turned his own business. Um, and then we have that family, which they might not go because of the autopilot, but um, they're working on that. And then we have another boat that contacted us as well. We were driving by to send us a picture. They're leaving this morning too. They have two little kids. They're adorable. And dude, this is one, like the one's a baby. And I, was, I saw their post last night and um, it was like a little, probably three year old and then a baby and the baby does this little sweet little smile at them. It's adorable, you gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're gonna be out there with other people. 
which Sounds is always good. good. Because if you, need, if you need assistance, there's help there, and then you're there to help them as well in case something goes wrong. I think I'm gonna start getting the boat ready. Sounds good. We should be pulling out of here soon. Are you nervous? No, are you? Yeah, no. I don't get nervous anymore. No? You're just a seasoned sailor now? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, after that passage from Grenada to United States, can't no sweat. Really, yeah, yeah, can't really top that, you know. Are you nervous, Tara? Should I be? All right, uh, but no. The question is, are you nervous? I don't think so. No, you were nervous last time. I know. How do you feel? A little tired. I woke up at three. <laughs> well, I mean, about you know, going offshore and sailing. It's fine. It should be fun. No worries now. No. Nice. Well, you're, you're getting into a different realm there. Because last time you were like, I'm nervous. I, I, know. I was oh. a little nervous last time. Yeah. Well, and if we're, off, if we're offshore, the, the biggest thing I worry about is crab pots. Yeah, well, we're going to go way offshore this so, time. So, yeah, so we shouldn't, shouldn't worry have about any that. crab pots. So. Yeah. The weather was cool and calm for our trip through the inlet. We even had some friends escort us along the way. Good morning. So far, so good. The forecast is calling for light and variable winds at first, which is exactly what we have. We're pushing south and it's great to be offshore again. We've been getting in some great footage from viewers, like this video from SV Ocean Eyes. Thank you guys and looking good over there. They were sailing with two kids, including a six-week-old. The sun was setting and the winds were picking up. We've received a few requests to show you what sailing at night is like without the fancy music and editing. So here you go. It's hours and hours of this. The seas were getting kind of sloppy, and I was feeling pretty rough at this point. Tara made us all some pizza, and now she's doing dishes. I am. And then, after I get done, Reese is not full from his four pieces of pizza, so he's getting some chips and dip. Oh, jeez. But I told him he was going to have to wait until I cleaned up first. You're not full? Tara got taco pizza for us to try. It looks good. Are you gonna try any? I couldn't even stomach the piece I got. I gave Jeremiah. Just gonna eat a banana later. Well, banana night. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I hope you don't get sick because it, it's probably almost time to, to get on that. <laughs> yeah, actually, Daddy's pulling a double shift for me. Uh, you gotta get back on your ships. I know. Failing. We're going over a little shoal, which is between, it's right at Cape Fear, which is actually where Tara's from. It's not where she's from, it's where she was living when she contacted us. Uh, but we're going right by Cape Fear, North Carolina. And there's a shoal here, so... I've just been kind of watching for crab pots. There was a big storm that came through just the other day. So I'd imagine they picked their pots up. I just want to make sure they didn't drop any out today. I'm really just shooting the spotlight out every once in a while. I know it. I, I can't really see up front, but 
I look off to the side and I figure if I'm gonna see something out there, well then I need to really pay attention up front. I um, was closing my eyes and I opened them and this white thing went across all the windows and I was like, what was that? Really? I was like, I feel like, I thought it was like maybe a ghost for a second. I was maybe like, UFOs? Weird. Maybe uh, UFOs zooming by underneath the water? Yeah, because usually you're doing it on the bow, not usually at the side of the boat. Yeah, well I don't go up there, but we stop, you know? At night. No, you're usually shining it out the window, the top hatch. Yeah. When we have another vessel near, like this huge container ship, we turn on our deck lights just to make ourselves more visible to them. early morning hours were super rough. The seas are all mixed up now. It's kind of like being in a washing machine. So we're motor sailing with the main up to help stabilize Calypso in the rough seas. This little bird hopped aboard for the last 20 miles or so. We set some water down. It seems to feel right at home along the way. The last part of the sail was a nice motor into the Charleston Inlet. This is a bittersweet stop for us. We're excited to explore Charleston, but this is also the stop where Tara will depart our little family for other adventures. for a day of fun in the sun. I am. What a great little spot. We'll go I to know. the bar, we'll go to the pool, have a day of it. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you doing laundry before we go? Well, I didn't want our clothes to wrinkle because if you leave them in there, they'll wrinkle, right? All right. So we'll fold this and then we're out of here. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. Really neat market. Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge. The battery, it's beautiful. Oh, that's a nice one. I think we're the only people drunk on the whole front. Taking off from Charleston. I'm gonna go for it. Angel Oak Tree. They glued it in. <sighs> and now I try to catch it. Look at the back of this thing. We are taking our settee cushions in today. I've never seen the inside of a microwave. Oops. Do you know what you're doing? No. Well, I watched YouTube videos. Ooh. We have Jason Pinko here today. Inner Dyneema is spliced into itself to right there. You got there. Do you feel like you can administer emergency oxygen now, honey? Yeah. Is this the best day ever? Well, we'll see. The one in the living room might fall down. We'll see. Having a CPAP on the boat. Jeremiah just left to go uh, be a part of the RV survey. First night aboard the RV. Jeremiah doesn't really know what he's doing. That was so much easier than unhooking power on the boat. We are headed to the West Palm Beach Power Boat Show. Scene, take two. All day. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below.
Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.